Welcome back. More than 6,400 students are graduating from UB this weekend. It's the first time in nearly two years that there are no COVID restrictions in place for the ceremony. Two on your side's Danielle Church has the details. Well, if there is one thing these graduates can agree on, it's that it's about time. Many of them tell me they're thrilled to have a traditional ceremony once again. I was very happy. I was not expecting this uh, due to this COVID and all, but uh, having this, this is, this is a very big day for us. I was very happy. But to be honest, I did never got my, you know, bachelor's or graduation when I was completing my bachelor's. Now I'm getting it, so it means a lot to me. I'm extremely happy to be here, and I'm very happy that the everything is in person, no mask, everything is like normal. Both of those graduates walked away with their master's in data science. UB School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, which also presented an award to New York State Assembly Majority Leader Crystal Peoples Stokes, was among the many to have their ceremony for graduates today. Other schools within the university will receive their degrees over the weekend. All of them will begin with a moment of silence for our neighbors taken away from us last Saturday. I would like us all to pause and remember the 10 lives lost, including class of 1981, UB alumna, Pearl. Like, we were very scared. We were very sad for the victims. Starting this, we were a little scared, but we got our support from our university. Uh, we, we are having our exams, but uh, to travel from South Campus to here, it is a little difficult, but our university is providing us uh, everything to feel us secure. Hilbert College students also graduated today and Buff State is graduating this weekend. Most other colleges and universities in Western New York already graduated. And of course, congrats to the class of 2022. Reporting from UB, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.